I'm Christy Dick. I work in economic development with five communities in Southeast Alberta, which are the special areas, number three, the MD of Acadia, Village of Empress, Village of Serial, and the Town of Wyan. So I help to recruit physicians and work with the Big Country Medical Dental Board um, to see that through. There was the idea that we want a doctor, but zero marketing. Well, how, how would you get a doctor if you don't tell anyone you want a doctor? Or um, your community is exactly the same as everyone else's. How, how do we make this community an interesting place for one physician out of a million physicians? I did an assessment of the situation. So yes, we have this need um, for a physician. Um, we need a plan. So I created a strategic plan around this. And in the plan, we had um, some new things that had, hadn't really um, been done by many rural communities. So the use of social media an online presence of our own. We weren't relying heavily on Alberta Health Services. And then we realized we need some extra cash and we had been working with um, Kim McKinnon um, on, on physician recruitment. So that was another thing I guess in the plan is that part of that was partnerships and how can we work better with Alberta Health Services, Rural Physician Action Plan, other communities, communities within our region. And so then as we're looking at that, we realized, well, we need some more money if we're gonna do some of these things and that's when we applied for the Community Partnership Grant through RPAP. Um, it, it was huge. It allowed us to get some extra um, contract resources, so we hired a social media company, um, Laray Pearson with Social Delight, and um, she was able to allocate hours specifically to our physician recruitment social media. Um, outlets and that that was just amazing so she was able to connect with community as well as recruit doctors through that social media presence. My name is Lori Pearson and I am the social media communications gal behind Return to Rural and Physician Careers Oyen. With Return to Rural we saw that social media was a huge success so in strategies for working toward physician recruitment and attraction that just seemed to be the answer. So with ours, if you go to our website or on our Facebook or Twitter, we actually have some really catchy marketing. And that's kind of what draws people in. Because say when you're running the Facebook ads, etc., when they see that really fun, catchy picture or phrase, they're gonna be more likely to click onto it. And if that's how you're going to expose yourself is through the the World Wide Web, then you're going to really want to have something that gets through the noise of the rest of, of whatever it is that's on the internet. We were able to connect with our current doctor, Dr. Kin, online. I think Oyen is, for a rural town, punches its way with regards to social network connectivity. I think the website for you know, recruiting doctor was excellent because I virtually could get all the information I required or needed to know about Oyen on the website. So it was excellent advertising. I could get all the information I could, that I needed to know about working in Owen. Um, I could watch videos about you know, the family physicians working here, what the people have to say, what the doctors have to say, what the pharmacists have to say. So pretty much all I needed to know about working here was available. Um, when we first started, we had lost two physicians. We had one physician in place. Um, and we were able to get um, a temporary locum in for six months and then she was able to add another six months and then um, due to our recruitment and retention efforts she decided to, to um, sign a three-year contract and then we recruited um, Dr. Akin specifically through the website and through our social media and the relationships we built and so now we have three um, we have our quota for physicians and three physicians in place at Oyen Medical Clinic. You know, it's not just about creating a Facebook page to recruit a physician. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. You have to create a community. You have to respond. You have to create interest. You know, we've, we've worked alongside Dr. Akin, for example, this entire way. You know, if he needs something, we're there. We're texting, we're calling, we're emailing. So we're there. And you have to close the loop on all of these things and you have to continue to build relationships with the people that, that you're working with or recruiting. And without that, it doesn't matter what you do on social media or online, it's not going to resonate with people and they're not going to they're not gonna become part of your community or by your community. And there has to be a give and take on both those sides. That's, that's what makes a difference, not just a Twitter account.